Uh, yeah, today we're down here at Piatkins um, in Mansfield and we've got this beautiful Mercedes-Benz Actros truck behind us and the best way to R&D an application is to go and get your hands dirty, open up the truck and scope injectors themselves. So this is what we're doing today, we're scoping the new Crin 4.2 injectors which the Actros engine has, um, as does the Detroit Diesel DD15 and DD16. So today we're just going to be scoping the vehicle under different loads, under no loads, using the rolling road um, and take the current and voltages at different loads and different RPMs. That then translates into the test plans and then that is how we ensure our test plans are perfect. <laughs> There's no massive difference between a rolling road and natural road. It's just the pure ease of being able to lift the cab up, um, you just got the injectors, and then you can just drop the cab down. And yeah, you get perfect speed, perfect loads, you don't deal with traffic. Um, and also, you can't do this as a static, it has to be the truck or the vehicle to be loaded up um, to ensure you get different currents and voltage because they will change depending on different loads. Um, so, your current and voltages of your coils are maximum speed will be a lot different than maximum torque or even 20 miles an hour at hardly any torque. So we're getting scope traces using a Pico scope. Um, we'll scope um, both coils of the same injector. Um, so we'll achieve, like I said, currents, voltages, and also timings of each coil when the second coil kicks in, intensify coil, and um, compared to the second, first one, and then take those traces at, like I say, different nodes, because it will change the timing between the two coils for different nodes. Um, we will then obviously go and replicate that on a Sabre expert and create a test plan for the expert based on the date we achieve. We can also find out, because it's a dual coil injector, we can also find out when the second coil kicks in. So what load point, what pulse width point, so we can work out what delivery point. So maybe on our idle test that the second coil might not be firing, whereas anything above idle, the second coil might be firing. <laughs> 